Hello, together. It's spring equinox and from now on the light wins against the dark. And I am sitting in my home office, winter garden home office in Germany, and surrounded by a beautiful garden. You can see a part of it. So it is a uh, quite natural to think about the connection of sunlight, matter and life. Sunlight was and is the inspiration of my whole professional life. It's the purest, the cleanest, the most abundant energy source on our planet. And if we use our scientific knowledge, our scientific engineering knowledge, we can create, by uh, using the interaction of sunlight with our technical inventions, everything we need. Electricity, cold, heat, mechanical energy, hydrogen, water out of the air, illumination of buildings and more and more. Here, yeah, a little example. This beautiful uh, sun was produced by melting aluminum in the fixed focus membrane mirror we developed together with our friends in Tamera. So, we can even make metallurgical works, ceramic works, whatever, completely clean. So, and if we start with solar energy and if we start being capable to store it in very efficient, elegant and economic way, then we can, and I say we must create local autonomy for all our material needs. And when we can do this for the next four billion years, because the sun still has a lifetime of about four billion years. So, I believe, however, it's my life, this technical uh, invention type of exploring the radiation that there's much more in the solar radiation. That if on a sunny day I am going outside, skiing or what I like, then I can feel the about 10 magnitude, 22 photons per second caressing my body. I can feel that there's a message, information. Therefore I call them love photons. And if under this spirit, under this observation, I look to a tree, I can observe how when this spirit, when this information of the light falls on this fantastic structure of leaves, then all the essence of life is created. Everything. That's the basis of all. And then on the other side, the tree is an astonishing being. It is half looking to the heavens, to the spirit, and it is half rooted in the earth, where in a fantastic web of small roots, of fungi, of microorganisms, there are more than, in one handful of earth, there are more microorganisms as uh, compared to the whole population, human population of our planet. And all this is interlinked. So from the light to the dark, to the information starts to be a field of information, of cooperation, of organization. 
And the principles are solidarity, protection. One is protecting the other. One is helping. This is a fantastic way of cooperation. And uh, therefore, it is uh, clear that we should be very humble, very modest, and observe these principles. They are far beyond all we could do, but the principles are there. And if we listen to this message, and then we use the same principles of solidarity, of compassion, of closed circles for our new technical world, then we understand the message which is coming from the light. And the message is create the real solar age, the real. And do it fast. Do it with talent and enthusiasm, but fast, because the ship is sinking, but we can save it and come to a real new paradigm and area in men's, in the mankind. It's a message when I start thinking about the interaction of light photons with matter and I say to you Shalom Salam Peace this is one other very important part of the photons message let's learn have a wonderful day all together